Look at that juicy chicken and that charry skin. Oh, so good. You guys are gonna love this Thai style chicken with spicy sauce. The first thing we need to do is get a marinade going for our chicken. And I'm gonna start off with some lemongrass. And what we wanna do here is take that end off and we wanna get rid of the outer sort of really hard, tough parts of the lemongrass. So give that a good bash with the bottom of your knife. So they're kind of like firm and chewy, so we don't really want those in our marinade. Just slice that up finely. All right, next up, coriander roots. You find this a lot in Thai cooking. We use a lot of the coriander root. It has a really great flavor. And you know, I know a lot of you don't like coriander and that's perfectly fine, so just leave it out. Okay, so next up is garlic. I want quite a bit of garlic. Bruise and take those skins off. Let's roughly chop those. Okay, now we just wanna make a little rough paste here. So that's looking pretty good and it smells amazing already. Now I want some white pepper and some fish sauce and some sugar. Now, traditionally you would use palm sugar for this, but I find outside of Thailand, the palm sugar can be really hard, which means trying to mix it into a marinade like this without heating doesn't work out so well. So I'm using brown sugar and that's easy for you guys to find and a little bit of dark soy, which is gonna give us a really beautiful, lovely dark color. Okay, and that is looking lovely. Mm, and tasting lovely as well. It's salty, garlicky, peppery, yum, just perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna spatchcock this chicken because that's gonna make it cook quicker and more evenly in the oven. So to do that, just flip your chicken over and then just use some scissors to cut through the side of the backbone and then the other side. We wanna remove that backbone and the neck. And then flip your chicken over again and then press down firmly on the breast, just enough to flatten that chicken out. Okay, chicken is now ready for our marinade. Put that onto a tray lined with foil. Definitely want the foil for this one, guys, because the marinade will get quite sticky and who loves to do washing up? No one. Okay, so I will put our marinade onto the chicken. Now, if you're super organized, and I often am not, but if you are, then I would um, marinate your chicken overnight and then you'll get a much stronger flavor. But you know what? Just putting it straight on into the oven is fine as well. And now just use your hands to massage that marinade into the chicken. So traditionally, this would be grilled over charcoal. And if you guys have a charcoal barbecue at home, that would be the perfect way to cook this. But for an easier way, we're gonna do this in the oven and in two steps, foil first, and that's actually gonna to help to cook the chicken through before we start to get all the charriness on the outside. So we want 25 minutes under foil in the oven. Now we're gonna make a very traditional sauce for our chicken. It's nam jim tao. So first of all, we wanna make a roasted rice powder and we're gonna use some uncooked sticky rice or glutinous rice. So in your Asian section of your supermarket, look for glutinous rice or sticky rice. And we're just gonna toast that until it's really fragrant and lovely and lightly golden. Now you know you're getting close when it starts to smell like popcorn. That's the fragrance we're looking for. The color is beautiful. And just use this pestle to grind it to a fine powder. Now for the rest of the sauce, we want some fish sauce some tamarind. This sauce should be very spicy and sour. They're the sort of flavors we're going for. But we do want a little bit of sugar to balance out that sourness. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar. And we want some lime juice as well. Okay, now for that toasted rice. And some chili powder. So again, this is supposed to be a fairly spicy sauce. So I'm gonna put in a lot of chili powder, but you guys can adjust that according to whatever tastes you have. And mix that through. Mm, this is one of those sauces that really packs a punch. Okay, and the final little bits and pieces are just a little red shallot, and we just want to finely slice that, and then some finely sliced coriander. Okay, let's take a look at our chicken. Now, at this point, this guy is only half dressed for dinner, so we are just going to use some of this, these cooking juices and lightly brush the outside of the skin. Now this goes into the oven for another 15 minutes. Right, so this chicken is looking amazing. Yum, so beautiful and shiny, sticky. 
Now just let that chicken rest for a few minutes before you slice it up. Okay, now to carve up our chicken, don't be scared guys, I'll show you an easy way to do this. So grab a hold of the whole chicken and then cut through the middle. And just give your knife a bit of a tap as it's going through the bone. Any heavy knife will do, you don't need a big cleaver like I've got here. It's always more fun with a big cleaver though. And then we want to take our drumsticks off first. So just slice that knife through the joint where the drumstick meets the breast. And that should come away quite easily. Pull that off. Now because the leg is always the favourite part of my house, I'll have to divide that one in two so there's more pieces. So just through the drumstick and thigh piece. Again, just tap that through. Now for the chicken breast, just slice through the meat down to the bone. Again, just tap, tap through there. Okay, now I want those out on a nice serving platter for everyone to help themselves. And in Thailand we would serve this with some sticky rice and some somtham or papaya salad as well. But you know, even just some steamed rice and that beautiful dipping sauce we've made is good as well. Mm -hmm.